recording all right this is uh, the first evening of our trek uh, this is crew 710 alpha 2 our itinerary is 27 we just got into Anasazi and we hiked about two miles today uh, highlight of the trip was we got to see the only known Tyrannosaurus Rex track in existence um, so I did take some pictures of that. I gotta say that is pretty awesome. So uh, we should be. God, I forgot where we're supposed to be tomorrow. Old camp. Old camp, Old camp tomorrow night. So I'll uh, include some more recordings then. Okay, this is evening number two. Uh, we're now in Old Camp. We hiked through Indian Writings, uh, probably hiked about six miles today. Um, today I had a religious experience. I, uh, along with the ranger, we managed to get hummingbirds to sit on our fingers by putting our fingers out in front of hummingbird feeders. That was pretty cool. I've got pictures of it, so I'll, I'll, I'll show those um, after this snippet of video. But uh, today was pretty cool. The Indian writings um, were really neat to look at. I've took pictures of those, so I'll also include those. Um, it was hot today, though. It was nice to get into camp, uh, set up, take a little nap. But uh, tomorrow, we've got a long hike ahead of us. We also have our three-hour conservation project, so hopefully we'll all survive. And uh, I'll do tomorrow's vlog when we get into our next camp. Uh, so t this evening we find ourselves in Sioux Falls. Um, long hike today. Uh, we did approximately 13 miles. Did our conservation project this morning. Got done with that about 10:30. There's a picture of me looking way too overweight. So um, we're gonna Photoshop that. Uh, then we took off, headed up to Dan Beard, where the crew uh, engaged in some uh, team building program activities. Um, I was way too tired, so I passed out. Uh, so I have no idea what they did at all, but it was a good time. Um, the nice part was we actually got potable water that we didn't have to put nasty chemicals in. It was almost drinkable. I loved it. So the other cool part about Dan Beard was when we got in there, um, they have these little stamps. They stamp passports. Um, I'm not too big on the whole passport thing, so uh, the young lady that was there, 
uh, had a little T-Rex and she was putting the back feet of the T-Rex as the stamp. So I went ahead and presented her my shoulder and so she stamped my shoulder. I have a picture, I'll include that. Um, we also ran into a, a staff member, a young lady by the name of Julia, who hails from Alexandria, Virginia, so she is cool. And uh, that's about it. Now we're in Sioux Falls. We're about a mile away from Ponil, which is the best camp in uh, Philmont. And uh, that's my uh, just unbiased opinion. And uh, so tomorrow we go in, we're gonna pick up some burrows, which all of us are not looking forward to in the least. And then we're gonna head in the direction of Baldy. And uh, tomorrow evening, another video. So this is our fourth evening. We're now in uh, Poblano. Uh, this morning we had to pick up a burro. That was um, the opposite of exciting. But uh, now we have Pedro along with us. I'll include a picture of him uh, after this little snippet. Um, we've had a lot of rain today. We had a little bit of rain yesterday. We had a lot of rain today. Uh, we had a little discussion about where it comes from. We were trying to decide if um, it was like God's tears. Maybe God was sneezing on us. Maybe God was drooling on us. Uh, we decided it was God's drool. Um, so that makes it the salvation of God. Um, so that makes sense. We've heard a lot about that. I'll, uh, I'll give a few, uh, few, few moments for you to let that deep theological uh, meaning of that sink in. Um, but uh, let's see, what else did we do today? Uh, we stopped in Ponil, but we didn't get to stay there for very long. Ponil's my favorite camp out here. Um, I remember the previous times I've been to Philmont, just sitting in Ponil and just drinking root beer one cup after another, but we didn't have time to do that. We just got to go in real quick, grab some root beer, and then we were out. Um, so that was unfortunate, but at least it was nice to get to see Ponil, get to go in there, and then uh, you know hike from there to Poblano and uh, tomorrow uh, we'll be going into Maxwell and Miranda and then from there the day after that we'll be hiking Mount Baldy which is uh, the highest peak on uh, Philmont's property so something to look forward to and um, that's about it for today I'll see you tomorrow So on tonight's edition of uh, Philmont Live, uh, I uh, realized today that I forgot to say how far we hiked yesterday. Yesterday was about a six to seven mile hike. Uh, we hiked into Poblano. Uh, today we hiked from Poblano to Miranda, which was probably about a five mile hike. And then we actually had to backtrack a little bit from Miranda to Maxwell. So we're staying in Maxwell tonight. Um, we had a burrow, uh, I mentioned, uh, see I think it was yesterday I mentioned the burrow, we got rid of him today, yeah we called him Pedro, I went ahead and took a couple pictures of him, turns out he was very photogenic, uh, uh, there were some really great pictures, he definitely was posing, uh, it was actually really cool to watch. Um, so, uh, we had a torrential downpour last night. It rained for about 14 hours. Um, we are trying to recover from that today. It's not going very well. Um, we have people that, uh, well, let's just say they've had to borrow shirts from other people because all of theirs are soaked. It's good times. So, uh, we have some um, dry weather now. We're trying to get things dried out. Now, uh, let's see what else. Oh, we went up into Miranda. Miranda was great. 
Uh, we have these little chipmunk things. We call them mini bears here. They're all over Miranda. There must be a million of them. Uh, I took a couple pictures, so I'll include some of those. We hiked through Baldy Skyline, so I took a couple pictures there. I'll include those as well. Um, tomorrow, uh, we're getting ready to hike up to the summit of Mount Baldy. Mount Baldy is the highest point on the Philmont Reservation. Um, right now, we're sitting at about 8,500 feet, and we need to climb up to 12,441 feet tomorrow. So I'll let you guys do the math for those playing at home. But the bottom line is we need to climb, well, it's at about two-thirds of a mile. Yeah, probably somewhere around there. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, I said with sarcasm. But uh, it should be a good time. Um, tomorrow is going to be somewhere around 13 to 14 miles. And uh, if we survive, honestly, it's all downhill from there. So uh, this is our fifth evening out, just about to the halfway mark. And uh, home stretch. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Philmont Vlog Special Edition. Taking this from the top of Mount Baldy, it's 12,441 feet. Uh, so we got up here. It's now 9:45, July 16th, and it is cold as balls. I would say it's somewhere between zero and five degrees, or for the Americans, that's between 32 and 40 degrees. Cool. And uh, yeah, some of us have lost feeling in our fingers. Those are the lucky ones. <laughs> so uh, it's a really cool view up here. Unfortunately, we're actually almost in the middle of a cloud. But Cat, uh, if you could do me a favor, go ahead and swing around. I want to get a shot of everybody. This is my crew that came with me to the top. We're Subscribe all to my crew. channel. Woo! Uh, let me see the camera real quick. See, Cat was holding the camera, so she didn't get a chance. So there's Cat. <laughs> I get it there's another cat. We are now heading back down the mountain because it is too freaking cold up here. We'll get into camp tonight. We're actually going back to where we were when I vlogged before. We're going back to Maxwell. And if we survive, then I'll put in a little addendum. But uh, it's been a great day. I'll include a lot of sightseeing photos. Peace out. And there was morning and there was evening, the sixth day. Yes, this is evening number six for us, and it was by far the, the hardest hike. Apparently I said something funny. I didn't think it was all that funny. Uh, but the entire crew is busting up laughing. So anyway, so we, we finished the, our sixth day here. And uh, unlike our good Lord, who was smart enough to rest on the seventh day, we're not going to. Uh, we so, are sleeping in. Yeah, we are sleeping in, that's true. Uh, we did about 13 miles today, which included the climb of Baldy. Um, so uh, I, I had a little uh, vlog on that earlier. Um, so tomorrow we're going to head down to uh, Head of Dean and, I don't know, sit around on the porch basically, play I guess. Card games, yeah, play card games, yeah. Um, and then from there, we're going to go into one of the most boring camps on uh, Philmont, Blackjacks, uh, probably about nine miles ish. Yeah. yeah, nine miles. So, compared to today, tomorrow is going to be pretty nice, easy, uh, no problem. Let's see, tonight, uh, today, after we got off Baldy, we went into a camp called French Henry, which, if you know anything about my background, I'm a little bit. Um, mm, insulted by that name, but that's okay. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it behind. 
Uh, we, we got into French Henry where they informed us that we were able to do nothing at all. And then we, uh, from there, went on to uh, Baldy Town, which was really cool. We managed to pick up some pears, some oranges, some apples, mm-hmm. food. Freeze-dried ice cream. Freeze-dried ice cream, yes. Uh, a lot of pickles, a lot of pickles. And and Spencer got a new bandana, so that was cool. Yep. So, uh, and we got a new, um, a new tent to replace one that had broken, so that was all good, too. Yes, and lots of chocolate Toblerone, so that was good. Um, so yeah, uh, tomorrow we hike into, um, Blackjacks and, uh, we'll try not to bore ourselves to tears. Until then, peace out. Subscribe. All right, so here we are on the seventh evening. We're actually in Blackjack's camp. Uh, today was a, a light day, sort of a rest after Baldy. We only did about eight to nine miles. Um, highlight of today, honestly, was going through Head of Dean. Uh, they had a cat there. So um, my uh, life fulfillment meter is much higher than it used to be. Um, we got into Head of Dean. We stayed there for a long time. We rested, I mean, this is the day after Baldy, so things just sort of sucked yesterday. Today, we're all getting back in, in shape. Um, we're actually only spending 10 evenings out here in Philmont, so this being number seven, we only got a few left, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's about it. We're staying in a, a camp that pretty much has nothing going on here, so tomorrow we get up. And we go to Harlan, and Harlan has shotgun shooting, so a lot of the uh, um, budding serial killers amongst our crew are really looking forward to that. Uh, so another relatively easy short hike, and um, uh, we're on our we're on the fast track towards Schaefer's Pass, which will be the last day here, and uh, then we're back to base camp. So until Harlan, peace out. Recording. So now we've finished the eighth day on the trail. That's our eighth evening. Getting pretty close to the end and we're getting attacked by mosquitoes. So if I seem a little distracted, you'll know why. Um, not a whole lot going on today. It was pretty much a straight shot into camp. We're now in Harlan. Didn't have any uh, anything exciting that we passed through on the way here. Uh, Harlan, the uh, scouts got to shoot some uh, shotguns and then they engaged in burrow racing um our particular burrow from our crew actually didn't even make it to the finish line turns out it was hungry uh let's see today was a moderate hike about nine miles um the bad part was last about three miles was a moderate uphill about six to eight percent and uh got him that got people a little bit annoyed. So uh, tomorrow, shorter hike. Uh, we get to go to commissary, U Gulch. which uh, yeah, U Gulch commissary, and uh, that's kind of cool because then we get access to apples, pears, and oranges, and everybody always enjoys that. And then we'll hike down to <coughs> excuse me, Cimarroncito. Um, Cimarroncito is just a great place. Hey, I got him too. Um, there's uh, rock climbing there and uh well for me an afternoon nap um home stretch we're almost done just gotta keep going and not kill each other so until Cimarroncito, take it easy
Good morning. I sort of lost track of time last night, so I forgot to uh, record a video last night. So, okay, so I'm a little late. It's the morning of our 10th day here at Philmont, and uh, we're at Cimarroncito. Uh, yesterday we hiked through, picked up food at Ute Gulch, managed to score a pear and a carton of milk, so I was a happy camper. Came into Cimarroncito, and then it started raining. So we really didn't do a whole lot except hide. Um, stopped raining about 1 a.m., so that was kind of nice. This morning, it's absolutely clear blue skies, sun shining, birds are singing, mosquitoes are biting. Um, about the only happiness about yesterday was I managed to uh, clean my shirt. So if you can see, this is, this is a clean shirt. I'll fix that. It'll probably be smelling pretty bad in about a few hours. But uh, last night I had some fun and excitement. Um, I was out walking through camp last night, which you're not supposed to do, by the way, so don't do it. Um, and uh, I felt something hit my arm. I thought a branch had gotten blown down from one of the trees. But I looked down and there was this little bat climbing up my sleeve. He was cute, uh, about three inches long. Um, I have a really huge affinity for bats simply because anything that eats mosquitoes is okay in my book. So I kind of looked at him and went, oh, you're cute, but you probably should be flying off and eating mosquitoes. So I calmly asked him to get off my sleeve and he said, sure, okay, I'll go eat mosquitoes. So that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, aside from that, we had some more hummingbird adventures. We had quite a few members of our crew last night manage to get hummingbirds to land on their fingers, so they were pretty excited about that. Hummingbirds are kind of neat, but there was one that was just an absolute jerk. Um, but the rest of them were cool. But uh, today we have an easy hike. Um, it looks like we're going to be hiking down through Hidden Valley and um, then on to... Uh, Window Rock. Window Rock? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then to Cathedral Rock. Then to Cathedral Rock. So when we hit Cathedral Rock, I'll see if there's a cathedral there. And uh, then um, Clark's Fork. And then that's where we're going to do our, that's our staff camp. And then the day will finally end up at Upper Clark's Fork, which is nothing. It's a spot. Um, and that'll be our final night. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we climb a lot. And assuming we survive that, then we'll drop down into base camp and have real food. So, until then, we'll see you. Tonight's the last night on the trail. Tomorrow we get up uh, dark and early and we hike into base camp. Um, we're staying tonight in Upper Clark's Fork. We hike down, let's see, we hiked from Cimarroncito, we hiked to the Hunting Lodge. There's an old lodge used by uh, Wade Phillips, the guy who donated this reservation to the scouts. Um, got to take a little bit of a tour there. Had a tour guide that had the weirdest sense of humor we've had yet. Uh, but that was cool actually. Um, let's see, from the Hunting Lodge. We hiked to uh, Clark's Fork, which is a staff camp, where a number of us, and there's a rabbit running through our, uh, our camp right now. He's a cute little cotton tail. Hey, little cotton tail. So yeah, that's the sort of thing we have to put up with all the time. So we went to uh, um, Clark's Fork. A number of people got things branded. I got my shoes branded which uh, they weren't really sure about because my sho shoes aren't actually like leather, they're more plastic. But it turns out plastic melts as well as leather burns, so it was all good. Uh, we also had an actual cooked meal there instead of rehydrated food, uh, so that was pretty fantastic as well. And then uh, we hiked now into Upper Clark's Fork, which is where we'll take off from tomorrow morning. Hike over Schaefer's Pass, which is about uh, 1600 foot climb from here, so we're going to be a little tired. Then we're going to go uh, head over to the Tooth of Time. The Tooth of Time is at uh, 9,003 feet, 
We're going to scramble up that real quick, take one last memorial picture, and then head down into base camp, and then probably take a shower and then sleep. Um, so this is my last trail vlog, but I will do another one tomorrow from base camp, and uh, hopefully we'll all make it and we'll all be alive and everything will be cool. Peace out. This is a view of Philmont, looking at it from the top of the Tooth of Time. Instead of taking a panorama, I'm just going to leave it on video mode and just kind of swing around 360. All right, I managed to do the 360 without killing myself. Here's a view of Christian, Spencer, Catsway over there, Mark, Carson, Ross, Hi. Patrick, and then another crew over there. And then way off in the distance is base camp. That is our, de our uh, destination for today. As soon as we make it back into base camp, we are done. See you there. So this is my final video. Um, today's hike was, was pretty good, probably about 10 miles. We uh, finished off the itinerary 27, 87 official miles, but with our conservation hike and side hikes and stuff like that, probably about 100 miles. Uh, my feet are in pain. But um, today's hike, uh, we hiked over Schaefer's Pass up to the summit of Tooth of Time and then back down to base camp. Um, see, we had a total elevation climb of about 16 to 1800 and then we dropped down about 22 to 2400. Um, so this is it, we're safely back in base camp. Uh, I'd just like to uh, thank our crew leader, uh, Spencer Cobb. I'd also like to thank uh, our crew members, um, Ross and Catherine and Nick and uh, Patrick and Tuck and Carson and Jacob and last but not first Christian and our two adult advisors uh, Miss Coker and Mr. Barker and um, it was a great time. Our expedition number was 710 Alpha 2. Our t itinerary was itinerary 27 and we spent 11 days together in the back country of northern New Mexico so that we can now wear this, the Philmont Arrowhead, and probably more than that, we have earned the right to say we made it.
water. Take your spoon and get the hell out of here. Oh, you're not wearing those up baldy? That's weird. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing